Hello, how to solve this exponential problem and find all values of t that satisfies this equation. This is t to the power of 3 divided by 2, and this equals 5 to the power of 3 divided by 2. Now, we can start by factoring out this 3 here, and also factoring out this 3 here. So I can easily have t to the power of this is 3 times 1 over 2, and this equals, we have 5 to the power of 3 times 1 over 2. Now let's consider this identity. If you have a to the power of n times m, this equals, I can express it as a to the power of n or to the power of m, and also I can express it as a to the power of n or to the power of n. Now in this particular equation and this equation, the 3 here is our n, and this is my m. So I'm going to apply this identity. Now the m is inside the bracket, while the n is outside. I do the same thing here. This is the n and this is the m. I'm going to transform it using this part of the identity. So that means the m, if based on this, that means the n is outside and the m here and the n and the m here. So we apply this based on this. So we have t power 1 over 2 raised to the power of 3 equals 5 power 1 over 2 raised to the power of 3. Now at this particular point, you can apply this other identity. If you have x power 1 over 2, this is the same thing as having the square root of x. So outline this right here. And here we have square root of t to the power of 3 equals here we have this is square root of 5 to the power of 3. I can move this over here. And this will change to negative. So we have this is square root of t to the power of 3 minus square root of 5 to the power of 3. And this equals zero. Now at this particular point, there is power three here, there's power three here, and there's minus here. I can use this identity in order to expand. If you have a power three minus b power three, this equals a minus b times this is a squared plus a times b plus b to the power of two. And in this case, our a equals root t and b equals root five apply this identity right now. So I'm simply going to have for a minus b, I have root t minus root 5 times a squared, that is root t to the power of 2, plus ab, that is root t times root 5, plus b squared, that is root of 5 to the power of 2, and this equals 0. So right here, what I'm going to have will be this is square root of t minus square root of 5 times this can cancel this. I have t plus root t times root 5. This is square root of 5t plus this cancel this. I have 5 and this because 0. So right now, what I can do is to equate each of these to 0. I have root t minus root 5 equals 0, or I also have this, which is t plus square root of 5t plus 5 equals 0. Now let's solve these individual equations. We start with the first one here. This one here, we have root t minus root 5 equals 0. I can move this over here. I will simply have root t equals root 5. This cancel this, I have t equals 5. This is my t1. Now, we need to solve this other equation to find the other values of t. So, let's add it right here. So, we have, this is t plus square root of 5t plus 5 equals 0. Now, to solve this, I can move this over here and move this over here. So we are simply going to have, we have this square root of 5t equals this, we change to negative 5, this, we change to negative t. 
So from here, what I can do again will be to take the squares of both of this equation. I have square root of 5t, this is raised to the power of 2. And this equals negative 5 minus t, this is raised to the power of 2. So what happens here is that this cancel this. I have 5t equals, this simply means we have negative 5 minus t, negative 5 minus t. So from here, I have 5t equals negative 5 times negative 5. This is 25, negative 5 times negative t. This is plus 5t, negative t times negative 5. Plus 5t, negative t times negative t. Plus t power 2. So from here, I have 5t equals 25. Plus 5t plus 5t, this is 10t plus t power 2. From here, I move this 5t over here, it becomes negative 5t, so this is 0 equals 25 plus 10t plus t squared minus 5t. From here, I have 0 equals 10t minus 5t, that is 5t, I have 25 plus 5t plus t to the power of 2. So let's rearrange this whole equation starting with t power 2. I have t power 2 plus 5t plus 25, and this equals 0. So we are going to solve this quadratic equation and find all the values of t. Now, let's solve it using the formula method. I have t equals negative p plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4 times ac divided by 2 times a. Now, right now, 1 is the equation of t squared. That is my a, this is my b, this is my c. I have t equal negative b, that is negative 5, plus or minus square root of b squared, that is 5 to the power of 2, minus 4 times a, that is 1 times c, that is 25, and this is divided by 2 times 1. From here, I have t equals negative minus 5, plus or minus square root of this is 25, minus this is 100, divided by 2. So from here, we are going to have t equals negative 5 plus or minus square root of 25 minus 100. This is negative 75 divided by 2. So from here, I can have t equals this is negative 5 plus or minus, this minus here, I can have square root of negative 1 times square root of 75 divided by 2. And this equals negative 5 plus or minus square root of negative 1 here is i times square root of 75, that is 25 times 3 divided by 2. So from here, I can have t equals negative 5 plus or minus i times square root of 25, that is 5 root 3 divided by 2. And this equals 5 over 2 times negative 1 plus or minus i times root 3. So I have two complex values for t right now. I have t2 equals 5 over 2 times negative 1 plus i root 3. And I have t3 equals 5 over 2 times negative 1 minus i root 3. So these are the two complex solutions that I've gotten. And I have one real solution, which is t equals 5 is our t1. So you want to easily check is simple. And once you insert t equals 5 here, you simply have this is t equals 5. That means you have 5 power 3 over 2 equals 5 power 3 over 2. So if you want to take it further, you can easily take the consider this identity if you have a power n over m. This equals the m root of a power n. So applying that here, this will give you this is the square root of 
5 to the power of 3. And this equals the square root of 5 to the power of 3. So right now, what you are going to have is square root of 5 over 3 is 1 to 5, that is 5 times 5 times 5, and this equals square root of 1 to 5. This equals this, that is okay. So that is how you can actually solve this, and that is it. Thank you and goodbye.